Here we are watching the uh, shuttle launch, SDS-106, I think it is. It is the 26th of July, 2005. It's uh, 1027, launches at 1039 a.m. We're actually on top of I-95 in, uh, you know what city we're in? St. John's Pass is across the city. So this road is called Port St. John, and you can see the other people are piled up here on the road. We were worried that maybe somebody would chase us off, but uh, the cops have been driving by. Hey, buddy, do you want to walk with Daddy, and we'll go over and we'll see the rocket ship? This is an NBC News special report. Here is Brian Williams. Good day. The countdown is underway now toward a launch just over nine minutes from now for the Space Shuttle Discovery, the return to space for the shuttle program after the Columbia disaster two and a half years ago. As you see, First Lady Laura Bush is on hand, and the weather so far is looking favorable at the Cape for this second attempt at launch for the seven crew members. The last attempt, of course, aborted two weeks ago after a fuel sensor inside that massive orange external tank was giving off the wrong reading. All right, T minus four minutes. You can see the uh, party starting to build here. Hot? <laughs> Very hot. Maybe hey. we'll get some water after this. Hey, buddy. <laughs> In just a minute, buddy, there's going to be a big rocket coming up. In just a minute, a big rocket's going to come up. It's been more than two years since we have seen a shuttle lifting off. So we wanted to take a minute here, remind you of what you can expect to see in a few moments. Immediately after liftoff, the shuttle will roll up on its back as it heads up and out over the Atlantic. And about two minutes after liftoff comes that moment, the solid rocket boosters break away. NASA has modified the boosters to make the operation safer. They then parachute down for a sea landing to be reused in later missions. About six minutes after launch, Discovery rolls over again as it prepares to shut off the main engines. That happens about eight and a half minutes after launch. The shuttle will then drop away that massive center fuel tank and then execute this pitch over maneuver going end over end so the astronauts can look back out of their windows and take pictures of the tank. They'll be looking for any signs of damage during the ascent. That massive tank will disintegrate as it falls toward Earth. They're behind the main engines now are in start position. And now we should have retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the Gox vent arm. We'll pull away from the top of the external tank, the VA cap, so called. Oh, wait, there's the exhaust. Yeah, it must be. He said they'd be venting stuff. I don't know if the camera can see that exhaust. Now we know where it is anyway. See the car starting to uh, stop. T minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred. Discovery's computer is now controlling. Okay, buddy. In just a minute, there's going to be a rocket. It's going to come way up in the sky, and he's going to go way up above those clouds. Firing chain is armed. 20. Sounds of pressure. Water system is active. It's being activated. Brain safe systems armed. T minus 10 seconds. Go for main engine start. Seven. Okay, the engine just started. Five, three engines up and burning. Three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. Beginning hey, America's here comes the new rocket. journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And there the vehicle it is. has it? cleared the tower. Houston's now controlling. It's in the cloud. Commander Ali Collins confirming Discovery's rolling on to a course for rendezvous with the International Space Station. See that rocket, buddy? On board the space shuttle, hour. looking back towards the Earth. It's an extraordinary view. Altitude 12,000 feet. This is a view from a camera mounted on Discovery's external fuel tank. Rocket ship, rocket ship, Three engine lock Discovery are now throttling down to two thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. Yeah. 
one minute since launch. Discovery speed now 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Discovery is go at throttle. All systems remain go for Discovery. Altitude now nine miles, six miles northeast of the launch pad. When the solid rocket boosters are uh, exhausted, they'll separate, and in fact, the fire from the separation now rockets for burnout and will cover the, the windows uh, in front of the commander and the pilot, like right there. There they go. Booster officer confirms clean separation of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery now on its three main engines, second stage. Standing by now for jettison of the external fuel tank. All right, here we go. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Remember, the mothership up above is not moving. It's we're on the tank that has left the mothership. Live television as uh, Discovery jettisons external fuel tank. All normal with the cutoff of Discovery's main engines. Now they're going to do a piss around maneuver, maneuver so they can take these pictures. And ensure clean separation from the tank. Uh, Discovery Houston, we are uh, ready for takeoff. Uh, here's Jacob right next to Discovery. He's getting ready for the launch. Uh, oh. <laughs>